Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Daily's 2A News. Today I want to talk about the issue that people are having in California where they're waiting their 10 days, they're going in to pick up their firearm after that 10 days. When they do, the FFL pulls up their background check and it still says pending and it doesn't allow them to release the firearm. So we're going to talk about what's going on, when it'll be fixed, and what happened. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this down a little bit. And I think pretty much everybody understands that in California, you have a 10 day waiting period. So you go in, you purchase your firearm, you fill out your 4473, you do all that stuff, and then you have to wait 10 days, but it has to be a little bit more than 10 days. So it's like 10 days or an hour, and some places even make you wait till the 11th day. Regardless, after that 10 day waiting period, you can then go in and you can pick up your firearm. But everybody across the state, this is not countywide or citywide, this is uh, all across California, people are going in to pick up their firearms and and it's still saying pending even after the 10th or 11th day it's saying pending and they're not able to release the firearm so what happens is the FFL has to go into the system when you come to pick up your firearm there's a button that they have to click in order to release that firearm and that button's not even showing up so the status for the background check still says pending and then the button that they would use or click in order to release it isn't even there and so the FFL has to tell you sorry come back and try again tomorrow because uh, we can't release the firearm without accessing the system to do that so it is a big problem where everybody up and down the state again it's an entire state doj issue and not just countywide or citywide but the entire state people that walked into their ffl on monday or earlier today uh, have not been able to access their firearms Okay, so here's what happened and here's what's happening. Now, I just got off the phone with my previous FFL, which was Rick's Antelope Valley Pawn Shop in Lancaster, California. Talked to my buddy Tony over there and we kind of went over everything that was going on. And we also checked the status of a background check before I got off the phone. So I can give you guys kind of an update on that as well. So when he went to release, uh, this happened to be a, a sheriff's deputy. He went to release a firearm to a sheriff's deputy yesterday and he had that same issue where he wasn't able to release it. It showed that it was pending and it didn't give him the button to release it so he had to tell that deputy hey try again tomorrow because for some reason the DOJ system is down. He got on the phone, called up the DOJ, talked to his contact, and his contact admitted that it was on the DOJ's side. It's nothing to do with your FFL, so don't complain to your gun shop because it's it's not them. They're not the ones that are responsible for this. It is the DOJ and there is a, some type of a system error. So they had a system error on their end that they've been working on trying to figure everything out. So they told him to tell him, hey, come back the next day and uh, hopefully it'll be released then. But have that guy come back so that's what he did he told the uh the law enforcement officer to come back the next day and check so it is on the doj side there was a problem with the background check program that wasn't allowing people to release it, it has nothing to do with the gun shop in general okay so before we got off the phone i said what, how long do you think this is going to last i mean obviously if this is something that's statewide it could take a long time to fix so he went again and we hopped into the system he took the same sheriff's deputy's information he entered it in the computer uh and then we checked to see what the status was and the status went from pending to approved and the button was there for him to release it today so we think that uh the problem is going to be fixed today or maybe even tomorrow for those people that were supposed to pick up firearms between Sunday, Monday, and maybe early Tuesday. Now, we don't know if this is a, a statewide fix. Obviously, he just ran that one background check and he was able to get through and everything looked fine. He could release it. So we don't know if it's maybe like they're uh, rolling it out in sections or if the entire state should be green light and good to go. But at least that one that he checked for me was... Uh, good to release. So that means that they are working on it and it looks like it's going to be fixed maybe today or tomorrow. Uh, there's a good chance that if you went in yesterday to pick up your firearm and you couldn't do it, I would go back again today and recheck the status of it because uh, there's a good chance if, if his came back as approved, yours could go back uh, as approved as well. So again, what I would do is I would go back see if they can check it again. And if they can check it again and it's approved, obviously you're good to go home. But uh, it looks like this is not gonna be a long standing problem. This is something that should be over fairly quickly and was the uh, fault of the DOJ. I've never heard of this happening before. He's never heard of this happening before. And you know, we've been doing this for a long time. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. So a lot of people were upset. And you're talking about a state with so many background checks done every day. You just wouldn't believe it. The number is, is staggering of how many people actually buy firearms in California every single day so when that 10-day period comes in and everybody's going back into the gun shops for their pickups and they couldn't it was a big deal i got a lot of phone calls emails texts and messages about this and it was a big big problem so hopefully this never happens again hopefully they figure out what the bug was 
what the fix is and they're able to hammer everything out. But yeah, again, I would check maybe later on today to see if your stuff is good to go. So hopefully that kind of clears things up for you guys. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.